The first thing to do when trying to identify a bumblebee is to make sure that you're actually looking at a bumblebee. There are lots of flies and other insects out there that try to trick us into thinking that they are bumblebees, so this is a really important step. The things to look for to make sure that you've got a bumblebee in front of you is that bumblebees are quite large, they're rounded in shape and they're covered in hair. One tip that I found really useful is to look at the eyes. Bumblebees have got quite small eyes when compared to flies. So if you're looking at an insect and the eyes are taking up most of the head, then that's most likely a fly that you're looking at. Whereas bumblebees eyes are smaller and down the sides of the face. So now that we're sure that it's a bumblebee that we're looking at, how do we figure out which bumblebee species it is? There are 24 species of bumblebee in the UK, and for each of those species there are up to three different castes. So looking at this, it can be quite intimidating when we're first starting out identifying bumblebees. So to make things a little bit easier for us, we're going to remove any bumblebees that are less common or scarce. Okay, so we are left with eight bumblebees. We call these eight common bumblebees the Big Eight. The vast majority of all the bumblebees that you're going to see in and around your garden or around your local parks are going to be one of these eight bumblebees. Okay, so to get started with bumblebee identification, we're going to need to know a few of the key parts of the bumblebee's body, which I'll list here. So we're going to start off with the head. The head is where you'll find the eyes and things like the antenna. Underneath the head, we have the thorax. The thorax is where the wings are attached and the legs are attached. And this is the engine room of the bumblebee where the wings and the legs are powered from. Underneath the thorax is the largest part of the bumblebee and that is the abdomen. The abdomen houses the reproductive and the digestive organs of the bumblebee. We call the bottom part of the abdomen the tail. Now, I know I've missed out some really important parts of a bumblebee, like the wings and the legs, but at this stage of identification, they're actually not that useful to us, so we'll leave them out for now. Okay, so now we know the main parts of a bumblebee's body, we actually only need two steps to help us figure out which bumblebee we're looking at. And step one is to look at the tail colour. Bumblebees fall into three categories when we're talking about tail colours. We have the white-tailed bumblebees, which also includes uh, off-white, we have the red-tailed bumblebees, and then we have the uniform-tailed bumblebees, which is where the colour of the tail matches the rest of the colour of the abdomen. And when we're talking about the big eight, then that only includes ginger-tailed bumblebees. So once we've figured out what colour of tail our bumblebee has, we can move on to step two. And step two is all about banding. Many bumblebees have yellow banding, as you can see from this group of white-tailed bumblebees. And counting these yellow bands can help us separate one species from another. Some bumblebees have no banding and instead have solid blocks of colour. And some bumblebees, aside from the tail, have no colour at all. Okay, so tail colour and banding. That's all you really need to get started with some basic bumblebee identification. There is one more key term that is worth covering at this stage though. And that key term is cast. Bumblebees are split into different castes. We have queens, workers, and males. For some species of bumblebee, it's quite easy to determine the cast by looking at some easily recognisable features, such as the banding or the colour of the face. But for other species, it's actually very difficult to separate the casts. So for now, let's just stick to figuring out which species of bumblebee we have and not worry about casts. Okay, so now we have everything we need to start identifying bumblebees. So let's have a go at identifying one together. Let's try this one. Okay, step one. Let's decide on the tail colour. Remember, we can choose from white or off-white, red or uniform colour. This bumblebee clearly has a white tail. And as you can see, by removing all of the bumblebees without white tails, we're already starting to narrow things down. So step two is to look for banding. And it's clear to see on this bumblebee that there are no yellow bands. Instead, this bumblebee has a solid block of ginger colour on its thorax. Okay, so that was simple. We've now identified this bumblebee as the tree bumblebee. As I said at the start of the video, these are just the first steps in bumblebee identification. But these first two steps can actually get us quite a long way to begin with. If you want to find out more about identifying bumblebees, including separating the casts or trying to identify all 24 species, you will find loads of helpful resources on our website, bumblebeeconservation.org. You can also follow us on social media to keep up with all the latest bumblebee news.